Hi there everybody and welcome back to another episode of Prestige Liquids. My name is Andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another review video. Now it has been a while since I have been able to have the time to to do a review and it has been even longer since I have been able to review a um, another Australian gin. Um, so that's what I'm going to be reviewing for you today. I've got an, a fantastic Australian gin. Um, this one comes from the Backwoods Distillery in Yakandanda, Victoria. Um, so there it is, that one there. So it's their high country gin. Um, one of the awesome things about this one is that this is their first gin release from from Backwoods, and I'm uh, so I was very fortunate enough to be able to get my hands on a batch one bottle. And uh, yeah, so let's get on with the review and let's see what we get. Um, this gin has also been bottled at an ABV of 43%. So yeah, it's a nice, it should have a nice little kick to it, I'm expecting. So one last look, there you go, there's a bottle there. Alrighty, so getting on with the review, let's see what we get on the nose. Okay, so that's really nice. So it's very citrus dominant, but it's a very light style of gin. You definitely don't have like any punchy, um, like high ABV notes, uh, which is quite enjoyable. It's just got these nice soft citric um, elements that are coming through. So at first it has a very much like a um, like uh, lime zest and then that kind of fades off and you start to get um, some nice like orange yeah so there's some nice like orange pulp and mandarin so very very citric um, on the nose so like I said you got the nice um, lime zest and then some nice like orange and mandarin like pulpy notes there's a certain it's very faint but this is actually one interesting thing that I've never picked up in a uh, in a gin before and there's a very light eucalypt um, note that I'm also getting that's a def very interesting. I said I've never gotten that note before in a gin, and I'm very glad that I have. It's a it's a very different note. Um, but once you once you pick it, it's uh, it's quite noticeable. It's actually a very enjoyable note. That eucalypt is actually blending very well with the citrus, and also green tea. There's quite a bit of green tea going on as well. So. You've got a, a very nice like balance of of flavors that are that are coming through just on the nose alone. So let's see what we let's move along and see what we get for the palate. Cheers. Well, so now this is where the gin kind of changes again. The it's still quite soft. It's a very like easy going gin. Um, but now you're getting spices coming through. So now there's like white pepper. There's definitely like cardamom, nutmeg, lots of like baking spices coming through. There's, um, it also has a very, uh, like, it's like a certain type of incense. I can't um, exactly remember the type of um, incense of what it's called, but it's actually reminding me of um, like when I would go to like to church with my grand with my grandparents. You would have um, that uh, that church incense, which is very strange. I didn't expect to to get that. Again, there's a, a light citrus note that follows through, but that citric note is not as um, it's not as dominant as what it was on the nose. So that's one thing that I'm quite glad about is that you have some a very nice diversity in the flavors as you go along. So you've got a certain set of tasting notes, 
on the nose and then they change completely when it comes to um, the palette which is really really good the finish again is very light very easy going I'm getting more of those those citric and this is like a lemon zest and then again those baking spices are coming through definitely strong on the cardamom um, that cardamom note is a lot stronger on the finish than what it was on the palette so that was again another nice um, element as a whole to this gin guys again um, you have proven that um, your whiskey releases from backwards have been absolutely incredible and your gin um, is definitely up there on the on the same standard I'm glad that um, also I, I'm very happy that you guys have been able to consistently put out such high quality yeah very high quality products um, if any of you are out there are curious and want to try um, the backwards gin um, to be honest I'm not too sure if it's still available um, but definitely um, check out their website and their um, and their socials and and see when um, when I guess when the next few batches will be coming along because this is a fantastic gin and I think um, for all you Aussie gin lovers out there um, this is definitely one that you'll want to have on your shelf so that's it I'm gonna leave it at that my name is Andrew and I'll see you all again on the next video give this